Mount Adams. I was in the neighborhood, happened to have my skis in the truck. Figured I might go for a little ski tomorrow. Weather forecast looks pretty good. Uh, we can get pretty close to the trailhead, not, not quite there, but within striking distance. This is a special mountain for me and my family. First big mountain I climbed in with my little brother. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun to be here with some modern equipment and uh, should be sweet. After five o'clock, about four miles, 2,000 feet in, you're going pretty good. It's a cloud on the top of the mountain. It's getting bigger, so that's kind of annoying, but at least when I've been up, we'll be fun skiing. I can say for sure I got the permit for this climb, bought it on my phone while driving yesterday, and then printed it out at a library in Idaho, but do what you got to do to secure your permits. Just about to the lunch counter. Took about three and a half hours. This is like two and a half from the actual trailhead. Just kind of blown my mind right now. The last time I did this, it took an entire day, but I did have probably a 50 pound backpack. And I now have 10 years more of experience in fitness, but Still cool to see progress. Here. Okay, made it up to the false summit, the Piker's Peak. The beginning of the ski run, but it's only 8.23 a.m. I'm a good four hours ahead of schedule. So I think we'll go for the summit. Um, keeping myself on a tight leash and if any clouds come in or then I'll just turn around but I think I got a lot of time to wait for the corn. At least up high. But so far this is absolutely delightful. Could not be going any better. Summit of Mount Adams. Yeah, went uh, significantly faster than I thought. Now I have a lot of time to kill. I'll probably just wait until I get freezing cold and then go ski. But that was a beautiful climb. Well, I skied from the summit back down to the false summit. Pretty bad, but expected. Um, I'm gonna actually wait. As long as I can. I'm not really good at this. I usually get too antsy and just ski, but I'm gonna try and wait for like a whole hour. And I'm just here watching for clouds. It's definitely not gonna be too wet. Um, yeah, got some music, keep myself occupied for realistically five minutes, but see how long we can sit here. Sitting here with nothing to do except for look at the map, <clears throat> I discovered a trail. This probably isn't as groundbreaking as I think it is. That would cut off several miles 
end would be way more direct back to the car. The question is, do I do this alone and potentially have heinous deadfall bushwhacking, which is not something new to me on this mountain. And at least this time I have shoes. Um, tempted to try it, but I don't know. Too bored and I see clouds, so see so ya. Yeah. Well, that was way too much fun. Couldn't film it, sorry. There it is. Pretty dope. Pretty good corn skiing, at least for the bottom two thirds. And uh, I think I'm gonna go for adventure route. <clears throat> I think I have enough energy in the tank for some bushwhacking if required. Yeah, why not? Ah, not bushwhacking. Excellent skating. Lovely. All right, well, I got within one mile of the car. So that's cool. Um, but now it does begin actual bushwhacking. might be kind of a gnarly mile, but... Whatever, I just skied 7,000 feet of fall line, so that's rad. Nice. Made it back. Absolutely stellar day. Couldn't have gone better. Mountain clouded up an hour after I skied. So, you know, I guess it's good to keep your eyes open. But that was rad. <laughs>